welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Look. Today we're making this lovely Argyle Square. Um, reminiscent of those patterns you've probably seen on jumpers and socks and um, jumpers, sweaters. Um, I've only ever seen it made as a 12 inch square so I decided I would have a play and make it into a 6 inch square for us um, for the crochet along so um, you can do this in as many colors as you like or just one I'm just going to do one color today so um, grab your hook and yarn and a cup of coffee or something um, and let's get going okay so I've started with my slip knot and then I'm going to make six chains now the magic ring doesn't work for this square um, because it's designed to have an open center so six chains and then go into your first chain, make a slip stitch and form it into a ring. And then we're going to start off similar to a basic granny square in that we're going to chain, uh, we're going to chain two instead of a double crochet in this square. It just brings your stitches that little bit closer together rather than um, a chain three which makes it a little looser. So chain two for your first double crochet and then two more double crochets into that ring. Chain two for your corner, three double crochet, chain two for your corner, three double crochet. Chain two for your corner, three more double crochet. Oops, I think I nearly did a treble crochet there. Two, three, and two more for your last corner. And then you're going to slip stitch into your top chain of the two and make your slip stitch and there we go for round one so like I said we need to have this open center um, that's well that's how the square is designed to be so for round two chain two for your first double crochet and then you're going to make one double crochet in each of the next two Oops, two, and then you're going to make two in your corner. We're working all double crochets um, around this square until we get to our very final round. So two double crochet and then chain two, two more double crochet. Your corners will always be that way. Two double crochet in your chain space, chain two and two double crochet. So then we move around to the next side and we're going to do one double crochet in each of the next three. One, two and oops, three. And then as I said, you're going to do two double crochet in your corner. Oops. Chain two and two more double crochet. And then you're going to work the last two sides doing exactly the same, one in each of these three, two chain two and two more in your corner, one in each of these three and then do your corner here and then you'll slip stitch into your top chain back at the beginning. And there we go at the end of round two. Okay, apologies for that, my telephone ringing. Um, sorry about that sudden noise. So round three, we are going to chain two to start. And then we're going to single crochet in these next four. And then as 
before you're going to do your corner two double crochet chain two and two double crochet Oops. and then you're going to uh, double crochet across the next six stitches no sorry two four seven stitches so one double crochet in the next seven and then do your corner the next seven then your corner all the way around and don't forget your final two stitches on this side here and then single crochet into your chain and there we are at the end of round three now round four is where it starts to get slightly different because we're going to start bringing the diamond in so we're going to do our chain two as usual for our first double crochet and then we're going to double crochet into the next four stitches one two three and four oops four Okay, so we've got our last two stitches on this side now. We're going to skip those by doing a chain one. And then we are going to go into our corner and do our two double crochet. Chain two, two double crochet. And now we're going to skip these first two that are in our last um, previous corner I'm going to skip these two so chain one and then go into the third stitch and you're going to crochet those seven stitches along one two three Once again that leaves your last two of that row and so you're going to chain one and skip over those and then make your corner and then when you come around here you're going to chain one skip your first two stitches and then do the next seven chain one skip the last two and do your corner all the way around and when you come back around to the beginning you are going to do your corner chain one and skip these two and then just do your very last two um, stitches in the center there. Okay, there we go at the end of uh, round four. So you can see this diamond is just starting to come in. So now for round five, once again, we are going to skip um, the last two on this center, um, on these center stitches. We're gonna miss the last two on each side. So not, uh, so we're gonna, do just three in the center of each row each side sorry um, so let's chain two to start and then we're going to do the next two and then we're going to chain one and skip over that next two um, this next two here and then we're going to do two double crochet into this chain space. And then we're going to do two on the next two. So one in each of the next two. And then you're going to do your corner as usual. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet one double crochet in each of the next two two in the chain space chain one skip the next two stitches and then you're going to do the next three stitches three double crochet Chain one, skip the next two, two double crochet in your chain space. And then you're going to do the last two of that row 
and then do your corner and then repeat back all the way around until you get back to the start and then you'll slip stitch in your top chain and there we go so at the end here i've just done my last chain one and then slip stitched into my first chain two so for round six we just need to put the very top onto this diamond you can see the diamond is here so we just need the very top all sides and um, bottom of our diamond so we do not need a stitch here so we're not going to start with our normal chain two here we're going to slip stitch across to this next space so do a slip stitch in the next two stitches and then into your chain space do a slip stitch and that just brings us into the right place to start off so we're going to chain two as our first double crochet and then we're going to make one more double crochet in that chain space. And then we're going to do one into each of the next six stitches. Three. Oops. Three. your chain two and two more around the corner there we go so then you're going to do one into each of the next six and two into your chain space and then you're going to chain two and skip these three Sorry there, I don't think I quite told you what we're doing. So one in each of these next six, two in the chain space, and then we're going to chain two to skip these three stitches. And then we're going to come over into the next chain space and make two double crochet. Oops, what's happening today? Maybe it's still too early for me. Okay, and then you're going to make one in each of the next six and then make your corner and then do the next six and the chain space, chain three, skip your three stitches in the middle and work your way around in exactly the same way. So two uh, chains in the centre, skipping these three centre stitches. And there we go. The pattern is pretty much complete. You can see we've got our diamond and our smaller diamonds in each of these um, sides. Um, and we've got this crisscross going on. So um, the last thing to do now is to do um, finish it off, bring it up to size um, with a single crochet round just to, to finish this off. We've got our chains here. So just to to close those in and finish this round so couldn't be easier now we are going to do a single crochet into this first stitch that we've just slip stitched into and you're going to do a single crochet in every stitch along so all the way to your corner and when you get to your corner you are going to do exactly as you did with your double crochets, only you're going to use single crochets. We're going to do, when we get there, there we go, so we're going to do two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets around the other side. And there we go, couldn't be simpler. So you're going to work along and do one single crochet in each stitch, and when you get to this middle um, section, you are going to do three single crochets because we're replacing all the stitches that we've done. And remember, we have three here. So we've got three here, so we need to do three at the top. So one in each and three in the center. And then your corners, two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet. And when you get back around to the beginning, you're going to slip stitch into your first stitch. 
and there we go at the end of round six how beautiful round seven sorry how beautiful and effective is that i love it love it um now if you need slightly more um sizing on yours you could just do another round of single crochet um that would be absolutely fine just do it in exactly the same way one in each stitch and then in your corner chain space where you did chain two um you could do one single crochet chain one and one single crochet so um i'm just going to show you how to do the invisible joint if you haven't already done your slip stitch and fastened off then um i am going to show you how you can do the invisible joint so i just um finished my last stitch here and i've cut my yarn just cut a tail there now the first thing you want to do <coughs> excuse me is pull this tail through just literally pull it through that stitch and it's going to come up through the top of that stitch you can see it's there in the top of the stitch then you want to grab yourself um, a needle thread that needle and then what we're going to do with the invisible joint I know Jeanette has shown you it once or twice um, <coughs> but in case you haven't seen those videos um, this is how uh, I'm going to show you. So basically, we're going to form one of these stitch shapes. So one of these V's. Now, we're basically going to make um, a mock stitch. So what we want to do is go under these two loops of the first stitch. This very first stitch we made, go under those two loops there. Pull that through and you can see here is the piece of yarn that we've pulled through so you can see that moving there so just make it roughly the length of a stitch so it's just there under my nail just here okay just there and then you're going to bring your yarn around the front and then this last stitch that we made so that was the first stitch of the round and now back to this last stitch that we just did You've got your two loops just here. We are going to go over the front and under the back. Okay, so just under this back loop, not the front, but just under that back loop. And pull through. And then just adjust it for size. So this is the one we're doing here, this one just there under my nail, this one here. Okay, I'm doing this one here. So just adjust it for size. And then come round to the back. And I'm going to pull this through here. Don't pull it too tight. We don't want to um, adjust that too much. I'm just going to pull it through here. And then when I get further away from there, I'm going to secure it with a knot. But I don't want to do it too close to there or I'm still going to have a bit of a bump. So just down here, I'm going to do one of those knots that I would do if I was sewing, just to secure that. And then I can continue weaving in that thread, um, that yarn, and secure that tail. So if we look along here, can you see where that was joined? Somewhere along the top there. I think that stitch there might have been slightly bigger which is making it stand out a little bit but it's a lot less obvious than if we had a big knot there so there we go that's the invisible join and that's the end of our argyle square i hope you've um, found that useful and helpful and um, enjoyed crocheting along with me if you have please click that like button give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button as well and um, come and join us in the group um, facebook group and show us your photos of your lovely squares and um, look forward to joining you next time until then just keep cooking and don't let your tea get cold <laughs>